you, by this very argument, by the very premises that Ethan just gave a wonderful synopsis of, the state has tied their hands. A mother could marry her adult daughter. You could marry whoever, essentially, you wanted to if they were over the age of 18. The state themselves, the courts themselves, the Ninth Circuit, has essentially tied their own hands because under that argument, it was summed up. Was summed up very well by Ethan. If that's what it is, that and that that is. I mean, you summed it up pretty darn well. That's what this argument comes down to. They they've tied their own hands. You could marry whoever it is you want to. If government is is involved, and government shouldn't tell you who you can and can't marry, then that goes whether there's a blood relation. Or not a blood relation. So, so and, and Ethan, could, could Ethan just answer my question? I tried to answer his. Would he support that? I support the idea of adults being able to choose their own relationship. So you could support the idea of, I, of I, even an inter- father and son should be allowed to marry if they're both consenting adults. When you're defining marriage as the bundle of rights and privileges that now accrue to people, yes. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. See, that's sick what, no, what's, what's sick to you is that you're thinking of sex, and that's not what marriage is. And, and it's always fascinating to me that when we have this conversation, people want to rush to the, the most extreme kind of case they can in order to avoid the, the legal consequence of what this is. Marriage, is, is, is once the government is involved, is about certain privileges. It's about things like being able to declare spousal privilege when you have a communication with someone. It's about being able to pass on property. And once government's involved in that relationship, it shouldn't get in the way of people being able to choose who they want to be involved with. You know what? I'm going to tell you, if your marriage doesn't have sex, Berkowitz, it uh, okay, but let me tell you something, Bernadette. <laughs> Mar- marriage is not about, this is not about sex. Because there's plenty of people who have sex outside of marriage. And it's somewhat offensive when people link marriage straight to sex or marriage straight to reproduction. Because that's ultimately not what this is about. And people want to go to prurient interest. They want to have all these visions about penises and vaginas. That's not what this is about. This is about, this is about mature adults making responsible decisions about who they want to be with. And we have said that marriage is about love. And if a man and a man want to be together or a woman and a woman want to be together, don't get in the way of that. So you think in that same vein that if a father wants so to be here we go with the, here we go with the, the it you want to be sexual. I didn't say it was sexual. Go, but you want to go right to the shocking, the most shocking possible no. way you can in order to denigrate the position I'm trying to say. That's not an argument. I am telling That's you. That's not an argument. I am telling you that under your position, under your own argument, Anyone should be able to marry anyone, including a mother and a daughter. It's not sexual. No one said it was sexual. That's what you jumped to in your own head. You said that. No, you're, you're, the one who said it was, you're the one who said it was gross and horrifying. Do you think it's gross yes. and horrifying? <laughs> Do you think it's gross and horrifying that, that parents and, and should be able to protect their children? No. Yes, Do you think I, it's gross and, hor- and horrifying that siblings are, are able to... To, you know, able to share their benefits? No, I don't think that's close and horrifying. I think that's loving. Yes, and I I love my children. I don't marry them, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> you, you would you would if that was the only way to protect them. You we really do marry your adult sons. If that was if, I, if that was a way of protecting them, you bet I would. Okay, so this isn't about equal rights. Now it's about protection. It's amazing how the argument will change. It's ten thirty. Kathy Phillips is in. She's got your local news. So there you have it.